a big old thing. I guess to be the start of it all. What happens when you have a lot of wind during storms and everything's just right there at the surface. It's not as deep as it normally is. Tree roots. You can see every one of them down through here. Intertwined forest. Walking is good though. It gives me the only exercise I <clears throat> really get anymore nowadays. <sighs> that and picking the spider webs off my face. <clears throat> I think I might know what I'm going to wind up turning, doing with, well, I'll put it this way, because that's all kind of just random thoughts, not adding up to anything at the moment. I want to be able to use this, to use this channel, all the money, everything that I get from this, to both be able to help myself forward a little bit in life. And to eventually be able to create an animal sanctuary of sorts. And make it to where a lot of the land that I get will be used specifically just for me to come out here in the wild and feed all the animals. Whatever it is they want, so they're not really fighting as hard for survival. I mean, it's already got a nice, good waterfall in it. Another one down there, another one over here. If I cleaned it up, it'll probably be even better. And over time, who knows, it may get even deeper than what it is. May become a bigger waterfall or mountain with a natural spring that it has over there. But I'll be a long time. No telling. No telling at all. The way the land is going though, eventually there's either gonna be a bunch of cities or a certain amount. <sighs> And nobody's really going to be able to have but a certain amount of, I guess what some would call nature left over. Or natural forest and animals and things that are in it. Sure, we need stuff to survive, but... <clears throat> If you chopped every tree down and ate every fish, what's everybody else gonna live on? Trash? That's the only other thing I see that's left out here. How do you get rid of that? I wouldn't exactly say that's a good thing. Eventually it has to come to a point to where Either we help heal it, or nature takes its course and it heals itself. One of the two. And honestly, if we helped ourselves while also helping everybody else, including the animals, trying to actually learn. Oops, oh, sorry. How to learn how to talk to them. Like some people have already done with gorillas and I guess different types of apes. Everybody given their, not pets, but companions, a way to communicate with buttons that actually say words on them that 
they recognize as the human language. Because they learn our language. I don't see why in the world we can't learn theirs. And so far, most animal language always seems to be the same. If you know how to talk to them and teach them your language, why not just have them teach you theirs? At least then you'll be able to communicate with everybody, or at least that species of animal. Figured if anything, it should be better that way. At least then you'll know what it is you are and aren't supposed to do. Because they're communicating with you and telling you what it is you're supposed to do. It's not that hard. Granted, I'm still trying to figure out and learn how to speak with my own dog. And most of it, they don't speak in words. They speak with motions in their eyes. Eyebrows seem to be a form of movement. Ears are a form of movement. Their eyes are a form of movement. And you have to pay attention to all of that on their face. Regard every bit of that as, some, as words or some kind of language. And then they use their paws. Just like any other human would do. To grab you and to take you and to show you wherever it is they want to show you. I do the same thing when I scratch her belly. Isn't that right? See, she's looking back at me. She knows exactly what I'm talking about. She's also looking back to make sure I catch up with her. You go ahead and take a break, baby, if you want to take a break. If you want to do some digging, go ahead. I'm just walking. You good? Hmm. You ready? Yeah. There's also another reason, too, I suppose, why I don't want people to see my face. And it's not so much that I don't want you to find out who I am. That isn't exactly the reason why I want to do it. The reason why I want to do it is because who I am really isn't all that important. What's important is the message that comes across. And I want that to kind of be the message. It doesn't matter who the person is. What matters is, is what they say and what they do. It doesn't matter how they look. It doesn't matter who they are. And I'll tell you right now, though, it's not exactly easy in America. When most everybody... Granted, I don't know how it is for everybody else, but for me here, it's like going on Judgment Day. And I don't mean the apocalypse. I mean, everybody wants to judge everybody else on what they do and say. It gets very tiring after a while. It also gets tiring working for people. And you hate your job. You absolutely hate your job. Why would I want to do that? Why would I want to work with something that I absolutely hate and I used to love, but now it's just it's boring. It's not what I wanted to be. It's not. It's not something I want to be. It's not something I want to really do. So it's. To me, it's better if you do that with your own children. Don't let other people teach and do whatever it is they want to do with them. Teach them the best way that you know how. And let them be themselves. If they're scribbling all over the place and they consider that art, let them consider it art. 
It doesn't have to be a perfect picture. It doesn't need to be perfect sound. It just needs to be what they like. And that needs to be enough for people. It really does. It's like these chickens. It needs to be enough for you, Andy, Mr. Chicken. The males have been tearing their butts up. I figured out a way to separate them for a while so everybody can get their feathers. Uh, surprised my attention span has lasted as long. Normally it only lasts for about 30 seconds. Go in and in and out. But like I said, it's you don't you don't have to have much to feed yourself or feed your family. Granted, it's, yes, it's a pain in the butt. It's hard work. But I think nowadays people really need to try to start changing over into sustaining themselves so we're not spending all of this area on farming when you can literally just have your own garden in the back. Look at that. I can guarantee you that's enough for me and the neighbors if everybody went and shared. And that's the easiest way to do it. Just trade with your neighbors. Instead of just going down to something that's convenient but requires so much more work from everybody else. I don't know. It's something that you have to change and it's something that I have to change. Until somebody does it. Not gonna happen. You have to be able to make something happen. And the only way to do that is to do it yourself. That's the way I think it is sometimes.